Hola. Do you want to learn phrases to speak to friends and family in Spanish? Or phrases that will come in handy when traveling to a Spanish speaking country? Well, this video will help you with just that. These are very helpful phrases to talk to Spanish natives. Stay till the end of the video because at the end I'll have a playlist that will have more videos with phrases to talk to Spanish natives. I'm Haiti with Real World Spanish Lessons and I want to help you become fluent in Real World Spanish. So if that's something you're looking to do, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell on. Comencemos. The first phrase you can use if you're confused or you don't understand something. And that is, I'm sorry but I didn't understand anything you just said. Perdón, pero no entendí nada de lo que acabas de decir. Perdón, pero no entendí nada de lo que acabas de decir. Perdón, pero no entendí nada de lo que acabas de decir. Next phrase. You can use this phrase when trying to make plans, but you don't know what you want to do or you don't know what to do. So to say, I can't think of anything for us to do. No se me ocurre nada que podamos hacer. No se me ocurre nada que podamos hacer. No se me ocurre nada que podamos hacer. If you're speaking to someone and they're telling you a story that's very hard to believe, you can say, I don't believe you. No te creo. No te creo. No te creo. If when talking to someone you think they're lying to you, you can say, don't lie to me. No me mientas. No me mientas. No me mientas. And you can also use this phrase if you're in disbelief of something. If when you're talking to a Spanish native and you either don't understand something or if they're giving you directions and you don't understand what they're saying, you can say, I'm so confused. Estoy muy confundido. Estoy muy confundido. Estoy muy confundido. And if you're a girl, estoy muy confundida. Estoy muy confundida. Estoy muy confundida. To agree with someone, you can say, you're right. Tienes razón. Tienes razón. Tienes razón. If when you're traveling and you're walking by a restaurant and you happen to see the menu and the food looks good, you could say something like, the food looks good, let's eat here. La comida se ve rica. Hay que comer aquí. La comida se ve rica. Hay que comer aquí. La comida se ve rica. Hay que comer aquí. If you're not sure what you want to eat, you could ask your friend or the waiter for recommendations. So to ask, what do you recommend? ¿Qué me recomiendas? ¿Qué me recomiendas? ¿Qué me recomiendas? Or if you want to be formal because you don't know the waiter, you could say, ¿Qué me recomienda? ¿Qué me recomienda? ¿Qué me recomienda? If you're out and about and you need to use the bathroom, you could say, I need to use the bathroom. Necesito usar el baño. Necesito usar el baño. Necesito usar el baño. Or if you really, really have to go to the bathroom, you could say, I really need to use the bathroom now. Necesito usar el baño ahora. Necesito usar el baño ahora. Necesito usar el baño ahora. If someone's asking you where someone else is, you could say, I don't know where he or she is. No sé dónde está. No sé dónde está. No sé dónde está. If someone's sharing a story that's very hard to believe, you could say, I can't believe it. No puedo creerlo. No puedo creerlo. No puedo creerlo. If you're really tired and you need some caffeine, you could say, I need some coffee. Necesito un café. Necesito un café. Necesito un café. If you have some time to kill before your next activity, you could say, what are we doing in the meantime? Mientras tanto, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Mientras tanto, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Mientras tanto, ¿qué vamos a hacer? If you want to let someone know that you really don't care about an outcome, you could say, I don't care. No me importa. No me importa. No me importa. Or, I could care less. Me da igual. Me da igual. 
me da igual. If you want to show that something is not important to you or to your group of friends, you could say, what does it matter? ¿Qué más da? ¿Qué más da? ¿Qué más da? For example, what does it matter that we're late? ¿Qué más da que lleguemos tarde? ¿Qué más da que lleguemos tarde? ¿Qué más da que lleguemos tarde? If you totally agree with someone, you could say something like, of course. Por supuesto. Por supuesto. Por supuesto. If your friend tells you something sad and you want to sympathize with them, you could say, what a shame. Qué lástima. Qué lástima. Qué lástima. If you don't think something is fair, you could say, that's not fair. Eso no es justo. Eso no es justo. Eso no es justo. Or you could say, you're not being fair. No eres justo. No eres justo. No eres justo. And if you're talking to a girl, no eres justa. No eres justa. No eres justa. If you want to say something is cool, you could say, qué cool. Qué cool. Qué cool. Most people would understand you if you simply say qué cool. You see, the thing about Spanish and newer generations is that we borrow English words all the time. We sometimes just add our Spanish accent. But if you want to say cool in a way that everyone will understand you, you could simply say genial. 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 Let me know if you plan on using any of these phrases and if you found the video helpful. Don't forget to check out the playlist. I'll have the link pinned to the comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.